This is good enough. It's a radio tunnels. It shows a, shows a bit of the cutouts. You can see it's made of, made of clay and they, they hacked it out. Mm -hmm. So like I said, in each one of these um, cutouts would have been a, a table with one or two guys manning the, a radio. There's 19 compartments in here. So it's, it's known as the New Zealand. One of the locals were trying to build a house in here, so I'm not surprised no one's living here. It was known as the New Zealand um, tunnels from the New Zealand headquarters. So it, I don't know if that's a cave in there, or that's where it naturally ended. Because mm -hmm. um, there's only one cutout there, and there's no cutouts to the left, so I'm thinking that's probably where it ended. Yeah. There's 19, 19 cutouts. I've tried to see if there's any names carved in here, but you know, you can see some where they've been yeah. doing the picking and the cutting. It's actually quite soft. You can go through here quite easily. You know, when it's when it's damp in here, it's mm -hmm. um, real muddy. The walls. I mean, there's some carvings in here, but I mean, there's something here, but I don't know if that's original. It looks like a was it an N? There's an E N. Some some writing, so it might have been. Who knows? I don't know if it's original. Yeah, it feels a bit um, hot in here now, but obviously during the time they would have had um, some vents and stuff in here. I imagine mm -hmm. it would probably been pretty cool. It's better than sitting in a a hole out there and then the bombs are going off when you hit. Yeah, definitely. Hey, you can very well safe from anything here. Yeah, a lot of guys don't get to come in here. So this is the entrance to one of the tunnels under the pagoda. So this is a tunnel built by the Marine um, Air Wing. So this is basically their command center um, underneath their air operations. So the next time I come in here, I'll bring a, a torch or a flashlight. So it goes in quite a bit. You can see the entrance here. I'll just turn around. That's the entrance. It's been caged up. Some unique carvings on the wall. I mean, I don't think this one here is World War II. Looks like the locals have done it, so that's a skull. The helmet USA looks like a rifle. It's obviously a soldier. There's some more carvings on the wall. Once again, I think these are post-war. There's one thing here. Um, it says welcome to something, so that could be post-war too. Here's actual pictures of the uh, U.S. Navy Seabees constructing a tunnel. So they're pulling the dirt out and dumping it off. That's Henderson Field in the background. This is the same tunnel entrance 77 years later. This was uh, one of the headquarters base at the um, foot of the hill. This is just some steel shots of the actual tunnel. Very large room um, in the interior, probably held the main uh, command and control. This is just another cutout, uh, most likely held a radio table. Just a steel photo of the um, hallway leading to one of the outside tunnels there. Here's a picture of the actual uh, pagoda, uh, how it was in the um, early days. The um, airfield, and there's the airfield itself. This is the pagoda, same um, shot facing back toward the um, airfield. This is a drawing, obviously it's post-war. I thought I'd add it to the end here. 